right, folks, welcome back to Ostrov. We are well into autumn, finishing off October, walking up our main path right here, and there's the new tavern. Take a turn and into the main market space. I haven't made any of the market changes yet. It was a choice of either doing that and then getting back to a project I'm working on or recording that and making that the episode. So anyway, you guys are complaining because it is October and no workers are there to take care of the animals. The animals seem to be okay so long as we have enough hay and water and they're not going to eat through that hay and water very quickly. In fact, I haven't seen that go down yet so I don't know how that works exactly. Can I assume that as long as it's there in the build... Oh, now it's still 76. As long as it's there in the building... They have access to it? Well, there's 75, so I guess that's the right assumption. Okay. So, it would take a whole year at this rate to take out that much. So each other month that someone comes in, two of them, to work some more salt, they can top off, hopefully. And I also have the uh, uh, laborers on fully on that building, so maybe others can top off these things when they hit certain points. Anyway, we're about to cross over. We should see the Parade of the Cows soon coming out of here and going into the the cow shed i'm pretty sure that happens first of november um she went to milk and what was that hay dryers completed got 40 milk out of that okay so cow shed can i see you from here you're that one all right so you are milking and you're taking a rest so at this rate i'm guessing we can be milking twice as fast one sleeping one working so yeah two people there seems to work just fine i was hoping to transition in this amount of time that i was sitting here talking let me speed it up a little bit i want to see the the parade of the cows again that was kind of fun all right we'll go to full speed there we go let's see how this works so she's coming out of the cow shed gathering the cows gives her a little whistle they all know what that whistle means it's time to live indoors, and off they go. <laughs> and these folks just weave their way right through them. Don't even get trampled. Cool. Wow, they're skilled. All right, so that should turn this back on again once these two hire. <clears throat> Here's the new tavern, which says we don't have enough alcohol, and we need a population of 200. We've got... Our mead ship on its way in. So once that gets into the system, it should start moving in to the tavern. But it won't matter until we hit 200 population. Um, and I can't alter anything. I can't choose how much mead is going to go in there. Maybe I can when it hires. I don't know. But we've got a population of 190. So it'll be a little while before that happens. Otherwise, the hay barracks have all filled. 7,000 over there. Well, you look pretty full. 65, and we got 300 more coming. Where's that 300 coming from? Oh, these things are like 400 apiece when they're full. Okay, so somebody unloaded a 300 somewhere, and they've got to walk all the way over here to put it away. Okay, so they won't unload any more now that there's nowhere else to put it. Now, I've never actually checked, but if we wanted to shove that into a warehouse, could that be done? No. So it's specific to it. Hey, storage. Okay. So you, yeah, you can't, uh, you can't cheat that way. So what else is going on before I start tearing things down? We let's see, six thousand out of. I think the description is eight to nine thousand firewood. Eight to 9,000 charcoal is 10,000 firewood. Okay, so that's specific. What you get out of it is random, which is true to reality, too. Depending on how well things burnt inside, you're going to get charcoal and you're going to get ash. Um, I do want to move the farm over here, and I guess now is the time to do it. So we're into November. You are going to become fallow? Or you were fallow. 
Let's see. Trigger that one. I'm assuming you were fallow. So we've already switched. That's what's going on. These numbers are not very low. Almost feel like we could get another round out of this. Except we're then running on... F well, we'd be running on fours then. Um, okay, so this one. This one fallowed out and is done. This one is going to become fallow, but there's still 58, 69, and 63 in there. And that's not without, not with any animals having contributed to. So the buckwheat would have been, if we had continued another round of something, um, 2060. And we would have had enough. So we could put another round in here. Uh, let's get all of you guys triggered for next year. Got them all emptied. And I'm surprised we still have room to put them all. Another 150 heading into there, and maybe some more heading into some of these other places. Just kind of topping things off. Okay, so... Yeah, and I don't know if I'm going to be stuck with these numbers when I relocate the fields. Or if the game is going to reset everything to hundreds. So I won't worry so much about that. We'll just figure it out as we, as we go. So let's demolish you and you and you. We'll lay these all out again. Let's put another farm in. Rotate you something like this. Zoom in. And R. Okay. Something like that, and we can use this to shape the road. Hmm. Do we start pushing the road up so there's only one? Got this big split going on here. We could do something like that. Yeah, that would work. And it gives us a good access through here. Is that needed? I mean, they're using this as that access, but right now they're not really doing anything. Um... Why does that feel off? I thought I had to tilt these to make them fit. I couldn't parallel this guy to this one exactly. I couldn't make them, them fit because it wouldn't build. I had to twist it a little bit to get it to fit the landscape. That's right. I fought that one over and over and finally just gave up. Okay, so spin you around again. You're going to go up there. We could make it fit this way too but we'd have the entrance on that side and all the farms on this side all the fields so i don't think that looks right but let's rotate you let's rotate you to match this and what does that look like about like that so if we took you up in there there is a spot right there that's a little tight that's that doesn't work that does okay we have a little more freedom over here Let's go to about like that. Okay. There's still the warehouse that goes in here too. And was there a well or something here? I don't remember. Okay. So you're going to go there. And we're going to take you up to the very next thing being built. There's a house. We'll leave you guys going. Everything's here. You're going to be next. Then we'll lay out all the new fields. So I could set those up right now. Yeah, let's do that. Um, anything going on? Can I turn this up? The speed up a bit? Or... One thing I notice whenever I do that, that's when the merchant comes in and that's when you know, another crisis happens and then I I, I stop mid-sentence and then don't finish <laughs> what I was talking about and, and forget to, I don't know, build the well over here. I did come back afterward and sneak it in somewhere. Here? Where are you? Okay, you're up here somewhere. You're over there. That's where I put you. Okay. And everything's been brought over to get you built. So you're going to go in real quick. Okay. So that well did make it in. Even though it didn't during the episode last time. Alright. So let's just place three more fields here. We'll figure this out later. Add a field. And I think we're going to enter from the top. Um, that's right. You can't see what's going on until you click. Then you can see where you are. So you would actually be... Actually, you would be entered from the side right here. I think that's better. But let's give us some more room. Yeah, I think so. So right-click, left-click. Pull you down like so. And straight... If we want straight, looks something like that. 
45 left us room below for pathways. And yeah, I'd say stay pretty parallel down there. Or perpendicular. A, a, a 90. So if we do that, we're into this area, but we need to curve a little for our pathway. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do something like that. Right there. And grab another one. And this one, it didn't snap. There we go. This one I want to curve off a bit. So we're not going to get our full 45s there. And I guess they're all going to touch. I don't see any advantage of leaving spaces now. In between and trying to put openings together like we had before. So if those hay dryers are not going to stay, then where does this go? I guess there's that to think about. I'm putting them all up in here on purpose to get rid of these. So let's just make those go away. Uh, thankfully, they did, in fact, empty. Well, most of them did. I'll go ahead and destroy the contents there just so I can empty it. And you as well. Okay. So those are gone now. And I never sped it up. Okay, let's get that going. So you... Snap. Come out over here. And, yep, as soon as I speed it up, your Kachi wants to talk to me. All right, so long term, they come out of here. It would be nice to shape a road that forces them down and through and coming out like so. So you're now back into here. Too long. We could do the whole 50 down here. Now we're going to have potentially a lot more people qualified to talk to us. And, and work over here. So if I were to do something like that, we're definitely going to clip off our ability to walk through here. But I don't think that's a problem. I never really intended them to walk through there anyway. Though something I didn't leave last time was the ability to put a bridge in really close. But boy, that's a big bridge. That is. I think I do want the bridge further down. So we'll go back to that. So you're still going to be over here. Here, we'll take you to 45. Something like that. So we're 50, 45, and we're 49 coming back. That's good. Okay. You're going to be there. You're going to be a walkway. Yeah, I think so. So you coming in at... I clicked you? I think I did. So you will be... Is that wide enough? Go just a touch wider. Okay, that's better. Take you to the whole 50. I think this lime here will be gone before we need to put this bridge in. That's probably a safe bet. We've already cleared out two piles. So, something like that. Now, you could start shaping down a little bit. And you're going to be huge. I think so. The problem with that is, of course, we're not going to get the, the full use of it each time. But let's explore that one. It's going to be a while before it's truly viable. But later on, we'll have more houses out over here. And I think they'll be able to pull that off with just the four fields. Okay. You guys sit... Entrance there, there, and there. Uh, there. And there. So about as close as we can get to any of them. Okay. You will eventually start to empty out into this one. And that one is going to be built next. Okay. Uh, Dukachi, before you... Seems like you time out pretty quick. Right there. 14 days left. They start at 20-something. Maybe he starts with less... Selling salt lime leather. Leather in the system. Is that such a thing? There's 1,500 somewhere. Do you have? You have 1,500 sitting right here. That hasn't been claimed by either of these places yet. There's 600 and something. And you? No. Your leather, your textile, your leather. 300 and something, another 120 coming. Okay, we're good on leather for a while. Does anything else use leather? 
I can't think of anything at this moment, at least. Broadcloth. Textile. Yeah, okay. Skip the leather. Durkachi. Metal parts, iron. We took care of iron last time. Pigs, cows, horses. Sallow. We usually get 500 of that to add some more food variety to the system deal. And... Um, how did we do with dried fish after a, a year's worth? Dried fish. 500. Okay, that's, that's a good supply to get us through the winter. Alrighty, so to sell to Dirkachi is charcoal. And you're willing to take 11.4 this time. Oh, wow. It, it was three something last time. So deal. Get that going. Shoes, we're doing great. Let's do... Wow, they'll take 34. It's going to come in after the charcoal. And the charcoal is going to be 11 wagons worth. So we have lots of time to bring these shoes down. So let's do that, but I don't know how. Because I can't do 1,000 plus, say, 1,000 or 2,000 more. It's all got to be in the same order. So we'll say 3,000 and deal. Then we're going to go over here and make you shoes, make you 3,000 and temporary. So we're not going to pull anything more out of the town than the three. So it's still going to leave 300 and something for the town. Okay. That's that. You. Or was I shoes charcoal sunflower oil we could we're pushing it now on how much labor is available to haul all these things to the same place the same amount of time um, but let's try it yeah 1,000 and deal and let's fire off a thousand here sunflower oil there you are 1,000 temporary. Okay. And anything else? Clothes? We have 10 in town. Nope. Clothes, honey, apples. No apples are left, I'm guessing. Ah, 200. Um, where are the 200 and in what condition are they? Do we have apples going into the main granary? We do not. We probably should. At least that way we have a place to track it. They came from here. There's none left. Apples were actually going into one of these, right? Um, from the citizens, okay. And probably the same thing here from the citizens. But there's 271 that came in anyway. How's How did that happen? Do we have citizens that actually sold us that many apples? I don't know. There will be apples in these places. We set those last time. And there's 80. And the timer on these are still doing pretty good. So I think I'm going to leave those alone. Leave those for our own citizens. Anything else from Dukachi who has 10 days left? Uh, apples. And no, we're, we're done. Okay. So you're done. Um, do we have... Wow, look at the laborers that all piled in. Great. Do I have a limit on laborers here? I do not. So whatever it takes is what's piling in. 750 so far, another 500 coming in there, and it'll happen. Okay. So you're good, and I think I can speed this back up again. And I feel like I was doing something over here. No, <clears throat> I think I'm done. The well must have gone in uh, there, and spent on meat and Earn apples, hay dryer, Dracachi's visiting. There is no well in this list. Yet is not here any oh it is still right over there. I missed it. So you've been moved over. So farm has taken your place. House just got done. So that is over here. Here. Here what? Wasn't it one of these? <gasps> Family settling in our town instantly. I see. And they are right in the woods. Off they go. Parents and kids and all. Kids that are 33 and 26. 
Okay, these kids need to find themselves mates, I tell you. That's getting a little old. Um, let's see. We're good here. We're waiting on that. Building the well. Then building the chicken coop. So, let's just start playing. This guy over here. What to do with you? Um, I have not really thought much about this, so I'm just going to be winging this. I do know the big arch looked really, really big when I tried to put it in over here. It just seemed inappropriate. The smaller arch worked pretty good, and we can see them using it. Nice. Okay. Uh, ten kids over here now, and six kids over here. Wow. More, it's, it's becoming more in vogue to, uh, to go to school. Yeah. So let's go with a smaller arch. And we'll leave a big yard in front. Leave room in the back to do something else maybe. Like like that hair, hay dryer maybe. But snow's coming down. Small arch. Uh, wish there was a button to say, you know, align with this one. Boom. And it's straight. That would be helpful. So I'm always searching for my R and my T. Oops, control, and my control button. Boy, the pinky barely reaches. Okay, so that's pretty close right in there. And I want you out here. You're supposed to be parallel with... Now, with... Kind of like this. These guys didn't get aligned properly. Yeah. So I guess the road's going to bend. Maybe that's the way to think of this. So if I were to do that, then we're more... Along the lines of maybe that. And that looks funny there. Okay. So we're kind of stuck somewhere in between. But it needs to align with the road. And the road's kind of forming over here and heading off. That's the one we're going to promote. Right there. So probably something along those lines. I'll tweak it just a little bit further and set you in. And... That will be good enough. We're just not going to be perfectly aligned in this area. You, we have been using Fence 4 for the school. I think it looked pretty good. Now, do I want folks to be able to wander around through here? I think I kind of do. And I do think that you need to go away. Okay. And you... Yeah, we're touching. You got to go away too, and there's no room for you. How much has been used here? Cowshed... 445, have we taken any out of here? We have. All right, let's force this to be emptied. We'll see how that goes. We are into December, and by the time I get this thing designed, we'll practically be at sewing season, and that is driving me nuts. I'm off just a little bit. Um, pause, demolish, snap a picture of, and move you back that way just a little. Go with that. And it still looks off. It's going to look off no matter what I do, because nothing is aligned. It's just going to have to be good enough. Now, yeah, I think I want a pathway over here, but it doesn't necessarily need to be the corner. We could be out over here somewhere, and then have to delete this. Gotcha. And there's another distraction. Okay, slow it back down so I can accomplish something here. You're going to go from there. How do we align in this area? What do we do over here? Let's do that first. You're going to come over here. To a road's width in between. So, yeah, maybe we'll mirror image this side. You're going to go there. Do you do that? Or do you do that? I think you do that. If we do that, we do this. Okay, let's take that back just a little to there. I like that better. And then something like that so we can get back to this angle. And... What do we think so far? Is not the symmetry that I would have liked, but it does fit the the space that is here. I don't know 
any benefit of adding that to the school since there's nothing I can really put in the yard anyway but a bunch of bushes. So this could be something else. Probably not a hay dryer anymore, but it could be something. Um, let's delete you and grab one of you, snap to there and there. So there is that. Okay, so we've got a big space in there. Let's put the bell in. Um, well, let's go play with Balaklia first real quick. And boy, there's a lot going on over here. Let's, let's just see how this is going. So nobody's actually sitting in here waiting. We've got a thousand shoes. We want to sell... Th what was it we sold 3,000 of? World map. Uh, Dirkachi. So <clears throat> 2,000 of 3,000. So there's 1,000 left. So that is correct. We need another um, 9421 of charcoal and that's fine we, we still have our 12,000 actually and we have plenty of the other one which was what no wait it was the oh the sunflower oil just left so it just made it off the map okay so those are good and now we are going for Balaklia right over here all right so potatoes 1694 let's go check out the condition of our potatoes we have to move them anyway so this would be a way to get them going but they're still in great shape so let's just hang on to them and sell them to our own people until it's too late or almost too late okay so luckily you are not going to buy our potatoes dried fish sunflower oil sallow clothes textile leather metal parts horse tack honey nope you will sell us iron sheep lime charcoal nails um, I don't see anything there we need. Sheep, I'm going to wait until we have built up this area a little more. I'm not going to do another what it, what happened here. I'm going to wait until we've got this guy relocated and our last house in. I guess that's probably a trigger for buying sheep. That would be the most people that could possibly work in this area at that point. Then we will work on uh, on making that happen. You guys are now off of work. No workers are around, but there's still 900 and 400. So we're okay with that. All right. So in that sense, I probably could even pull that off with the chickens if I had to. Kind of an every other month thing. But I don't know. I don't think it's that crucial. Um, right there. Farm. About one third of the way done. Okay. So still working over here. Church or a bell post. The other one was sitting in this corner, and I think it it would it would work fine. Though I could get you back up in here where I kind of wish the other one was. That does seem a little better. Something like that. Okay, you're going to go there. And let's get some benches in here. Uh, you know, I, I put a large bench, bench, and bench. I had assumed that one was longer than the other. They actually aren't bench right there and let's kick you off to a side like this and right there and click and then grab the other bench there they're the same size I didn't notice that there was a oh there is a difference in look it's two slats over there versus this fence it's two different kinds of fences that's what it is Ah, so it isn't a size difference. It is a the, the construction. A little more modern, a little more rustic. Aha, okay. So you go away, go with the more modern one. So I have been placing these wrong the whole time. <laughs> okay, you're going to go there. And I think we could probably do something like that out here. Let's see, spin you like that. That looks pretty good. Shift and F. Nope, not quite perpendicular to it. Somewhere in there, somewhere near the middle, and click. Okay. So, trees around here, you guys are what? Uh, ash tree. Okay. So, ash growing in that area. Completed construction on a bench. Okay. So, ash doesn't work over here. It's 
too much. Though it might be nice to see a contrast of the pine over here versus the spruce, since there's so many spruce. So pine is right there. A little different look to you. And along the sides, along the fences. In the corner. Yeah, we can corner with this, give it a dis kind of a distinction as to where the fences change. And in here, sure, like that. Then some bushes. Rose bushes, probably not something you'd want in a school. Thorns. So lilac bushes have no thorns. Um, let's see. You guys are right in there. And I kind of look like the look of a cluster of bushes around the base of a tree. Let's do something like that. I guess I got two out of there. Get three out of that one. And let's put dogwood around the others. I guess just one. We're kind of crowding our, our walkway otherwise. There. There. And I suppose both sides over there. So that's that's it for now, right? Otherwise we have gazebos. Yeah. Um, this arch. I'm picturing that probably for the church. Uh, turn. Actually, where's the sun? There we go. So I think that would make a great entrance to the church and the, the main town's cemetery. Maybe we'll call this... I, I, I took a bunch of the graves out of here, thinking maybe we're going to shorten this fence line at some point. So if we can get the other church built long before this fills up, which I don't know if that's possible. We are... When did we start? 23? Well, I guess we started in 21. Okay, so our first round of houses may all start dying off at kind of the same time, I'm not sure. But if it works out that way, then we'll shorten this one. I'm thinking the main church, the big cathedral, should probably be right up in here. It just seems like the right place for it. Whether it's up there or right here or just what. And then it's main cemetery, kind of up in here too. And then that big arch would be a great entrance to that. So that's long term, and we've got to build our way out to there. We have till 300 citizens, so it's it's not impossible. Um, so that's been done. Our trading is all taken care of. I don't know that I, that I love this, but it's just kind of an awkward place. As other things start to form in here, and I don't know what those are. Some other building needs to go right here to give us a distinctive corner to our road and come down a little bit lower, start cutting down, cutting all this off to end up over here, kind of move our road through. So some of the building goes here. I don't know what that is. And we'll just start figuring that out. I think there's a, a drop in elevation there too. So I don't think I could have moved these, for instance, to this point. It, well, this is occupied. Let's see. FF and oh you're just freaking out because of this so i guess i could have done that i could t a couple times and drop you in there okay so we could move things around if we wanted to and line these up and give us an official you know front of the uh, uh, official boardwalk in a sense to this road right here i do wish this dip wasn't so extreme right where i want the road Almost at that point makes you want to kick the road up into here just to get past the dip. Hmm. I don't know. But, um, playing with these guys constructed the farm. Let's go make sure that that happens. So, in that case, I need to probably employ. I can't easily just move the manager across don't think that's a thing. Uh, boy, I wish I could just click and drag. 
and send you over there like I can the uh, the oxen. Um, so I guess I'm going to hire somebody else at this point. See who is qualified. I guess I could unhire this one. I don't think... I keep pushing the wrong one. I don't think that disqualifies the ability to have the oxen or those sort of things. Oh, I did wipe out. I need to maintain... In fact, let's just do that. You, no manager to handle crop rotations. Okay, so you are now going to be linked to... And you can be field number one. So link you to here. You as two... That work? Link two. Oh, it did. Three. It's waiting for me to put orders in. Four. Okay. So you guys are there. You have been fired. You're going to rehire. Here we go. So you're ready. You. I'm going to leave one person employed here because of the oxen. And I'm not going to move them until we have supplies over here supply for oxen and get that going so it'll take a little time to be able to make this transition then I need to fire these off yeah 86 97 did it did not make everything 100% but it came pretty close okay you are gonna fallow doesn't really matter when you fallow so I'll make you the first fallow and if we continue the pattern that we had we may as well just to get this going again it was fallow and then it was sunflower oops fallow oh my manager's not there so I can't even deal with that yet and let's fix that transfer no I cannot apply to all that's what screwed everything up okay manually let's there's our manager we're gonna hire women only farms the women get the farms and what did we decide to do over here so, three months around each of the seasons for full employment. That was to have lots of people here to start the plowing. And then April was why? Just in case it went long. I think that's why. Because they will also do the sowing. Okay. So, you are... Turn off... Like so. Off season is one. On season is four go with that and men only and laborers at 120 percent workers at 100 percent and i think that's good right anybody can be a laborer okay as far as this goes what did i have set up over here everyone i suppose that doesn't matter okay so I even added Carter in just in case there was a weird situation. Maybe the initial hay will come in this way. Okay. So with that, we have our first worker who and our first labor who is supplying water. As soon as somebody supplies hay, then I can transition the, the uh, plows over. And then I can fire this person and start the emptying process. But I don't dare until the oxen are gone it'll empty all the hay out right off the bat because they tend to do things like that all right so we've got you are hauling out some charcoal you are on your way in to get some charcoal and i know it's driving some folks nuts to see them drive through the well to get over here um i guess temporarily we could just do something like now, I don't have any more hay dryers in here. Yeah. So, temporarily, we could grab... No, we can't grab a fence line. Those are all fields. So, three rail is in the middle. Yeah, so you look like the pastures. And I guess we could just drop you in like so to kind of form the, uh, the sense of a road. Wherever they're coming in from, now they're going to come into here before they make their turn. Okay. All right, so that is there. Uh, we were about to work on a market stall area. 40 minutes in. Farm is gathering. So everyone's jumped in here to go and move some of the supplies around. That's great. We're going slow. That is Balaklia. We don't need to worry about them. We are into January. Let's... You know, I'm going to just leave it running slow. 
I don't have a need to make this happen as fast as possible. Really don't. This episode isn't about seeing the next harvest. It's about seeing kind of a the renovation of parts of the town. A renovation, is that the best word for moving the farm and moving the market and... Come on now. There. So we're going to move all of these. We don't need any of these fences at all anymore because we now have the pasture up against it. So, what is a better word? Because I'm going to need it for the title of this episode. <laughs> anyway. While I'm editing this segment, I'll be hitting the thesaurus or something. So you need to stay. The benches don't. So I think we're good there. Um, trick is going to be moving all of these things in order to kill stalls and make this work. Okay, so this shape here does help. That does help. Okay, so let's grab another one of you and align you to here. Doesn't f match the bench, but it does match the fence line for the most part. Okay, so you're going to be there and you're going to be this distance away. So you're into here. Boy, I really do need these first two gone. Okay. So we got four things in here that are that are viable. Three. I need to condense. This isn't gonna be easy. It's not. Okay. So these four can go away without a problem. Okay. So you unfortunately get fired and this is to be made empty. So we clear this out, those go away. Um, they're not going to spoil, we don't have to have them out here that quickly. These are not going to spoil either, nor any of these. Did I really say make it? I did, because I... What did I do? This one. Okay, so we're going to make that empty. Do I need to? Let me think about that. I could just load four other things in here, and they'll deal with it. They'll stack in around it, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's do that. So I need to move cabbage, beetroot, beetroot, and milk. So let's just throw in cabbage, beets. There you are. Milk. But is this in the right place? I think it is. I think the next one goes right alongside of it, and then we make the turn. I think that's what I'm looking to do. Without needing to move this guy. I think so. Okay, so milk. And... But I need to pause. I can't. Pause. Because I don't want them starting to fill these up. Because I want them to take it from... Here. So, you need to be milk. Oh, these things are finicky. You go just slightly out of the box and you have to start all over again. So you guys are there and you need to make empty. Will you do it? You will. Okay, keep them hired. Hire you. So you will make empty. Good. And you need to delete. So same sort of thing over here. You have got all four. Can't do much with you, though I could empty you. I feel like I might need to empty these two, though, and move them over a bit. Except I want the walkway to go through this one, so I can't. They're pretty well aligned. We'll just do our best to get the other one as tight against us as possible. I guess that's the way to do it. So you have three. We need to get rid of four things. How are we going to do that? I guess we get rid of some things. Get rid of salt. So turn chicken, sallow, flour, honey. Chicken. Flour. Honey. Sallow. There you are. So we're going to call for those now. And we're going to empty you out. Okay. And you are not here. 
you are not here. Okay. So you two need to empty. Need to delete. So that I can build another one right next to both of you. And see if there's still room to make a turn. So you have emptied and demolish. Okay. Which means you are no longer hired. And we've fired off an artifact. Which, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh well. Um, this is the chicken coop, which actually happens next. I was going to start building. Okay. Um, anything else going on while we're waiting for that? You have hay and water. You drag and drop. Drag and drop. And I assume you will do the work. Okay. And then we'll tear you down and decide what happens to this space. I know what happens to this space. It becomes the pathway that the merchants all travel now. Yeah, we're gonna, that's just gonna happen until we, uh, until we get more construction going on over in that area. Okay. So that's happening. You guys are having money problems and you've been here for quite a while. So what is with that? <clears throat> no income. Unemployed, unemployed. So probably the fish. So let's give a couple jobs up. Um, need to get these guys emptied. Six and zero in there. You have 27 left. We're about to start filling this guy again. So let's bring two more guys into here. And that happens all year long until that's done. Okay. So there are laborer jobs available. This one is laborer by cart. And laborer can be men. So he could be working here if he wants to. And he's close enough. So it's possible that he's just in between laborer jobs deciding what, you know, taking a rest. Sitting at a bench right now. Okay. But that's going to hurt them for a long time. So let's give them 10 to get them going again. You are done. And demolish. So that's done. You're fine. No other warnings except for that, which can wait until March. And everything else here seems to be doing okay. All right. So back to here, running nice and slow. I want another stall. Uh, you. As tight into here as I can. There. And one of you. Let's tweak you just a little bit. Because the other one's not really aligned with the fence. Okay, close as I can go is right there. Then, can I make this turn in this space? So, one of you... And how do I determine what is the right angle so that I can mirror it on the other one? What can I compare it to? So, it looks like we got to be somewhere in there. Parallel to that fence... How can I do that? Looks like that section right there. So the fence intentionally wiggles around. It's not an exactly straight fence. See the, the wiggle in this thing? I didn't build that into it. It's, it's in it already. So it's hard to say this is parallel to that. But that's probably a good happy medium. So you come into here. And what needs to align here? What am I missing? Yellows, oh, we're touching the yellow on this one over here. So that yellow there, and then this yellow here. Okay. Right there. Right there. The shadows are really playing with my, my mind here. Okay, move that fence to straight up and down on my screen. All right, I think that does work. Okay, you're in there, you're in there. That does look parallel to the path now. And we can kick it back just a little bit, or I leave it so that there is room for a little fence line back there. Let's move. Although the more forward I move it, the more I close off the opening over here, too. So if I were to take it down the length a little bit, then I could start to tighten that one up. I think that's about as far as I can go then. Okay. You're there. 
and somehow I need to get the opposite angle of that and make it fit before he hits that corner. That might not happen, huh? Yeah. Okay, so... Actually, that V looks pretty good as far as being uh, mere images of each other. Okay, we'll go with that. It is fitting right now. It actually is. So I can move it around a little. Down in. That's about it. It feels like this one needs to move in a bit, though. Let's pause. Tweak that just a little bit. Demolish. Grab it. And set it more like there. Okay, I'm touching in that corner. Right? Inaccessible. Huh? Places occupied, inaccessible. Okay, what just broke? <laughs> what happened there? Okay, one more try. I'll grab you, rotate you around to something like that. There. Yeah, there must have been some kind of an artifact left over from the old one. I'm still triggering it. I need to bring you in a little and I'm hitting. So that's about as in as I'm going to get. Okay, I'm going with that. It's not as wide as this one, but it'll still do. Now, can I get... We don't have anything going on, do we? You're still Balaklia. Can I get an arch in here? I don't think I can. Hmm. Well, I can out here. We have the yellow underneath the arch that interacts with everything, too. So... Boy, it's a mess of angles. It really needs to be over here. To come down this road. Which means we're clear up there to make it fit. Maybe we don't arch. Maybe these just go away. I think so. Okay. So we'll let this build. And then we'll shape the pathway in through there. Maybe fence around behind. Fence around behind. And call that good. Alright, so I'm sure I'm close to an hour now. Only 50 minutes. Seemed like that took a long time. Um... So we are middle of January. We're still moving one more. And she is going to work to do that. She can only handle one per work day, work week, or whatever this counts as. Um, you're grabbing water. This well is not located as well anymore. Though they can use this for the farm, for all the animals. So I guess that's not a problem. But this probably just goes away because there's nothing over here anymore. Nothing else in this area needs a well. Okay. So this goes away. This gets emptied. And we're still waiting for her to get here. So speed things back up again. I'm going to... Well, either redesign this next time or do this on my own. That's going to take a lot of thought. And I still need to go through and refill all of the... The, uh, boot, the the market stalls and figure out what goes in there and try to align like products together and products that don't need to uh, that don't expire you're done so with that you can be made empty now will you make empty if so I will hire more relocating a plow okay let's get you back are you going to start making empty you are. So let's fill this up with anybody who will work out here. Let them assist. Now will you... You will not assist. It is entirely the job of the other farm. You're just going to sit here. Okay. Um, sitting here, we've got... Bilakli again. We've still got enough food and water. Okay. 
So in that case, yeah, we just need to see all this stuff go away. She's going to... A laborer is going to help out. Uh, we don't have a cart shed out here. Cart parking. That would have been helpful. For this one time. It's, it's rare that we need it for the farms. This one time she might have been able to grab a cart and do this quicker. For all I know, she's heading into town to get a cart. I don't know. <laughs> Emptying building storage. Yep, she's going to go get a cart. Okay, well, that'll happen some year. All right, down in here we have sold a bunch of charcoal. So now we're starting to refill. We refilled this one. Working on this one. There's just a little bit left over in this one. You have... Still, well, you, you're ready to get some more, and you are buying food. You're not working right now. So that means we've been using up some of the firewood, or we've just been stealing it out of here. Now we got three guys in here now. They are 19 trees. They're now full. Okay, so they're just all sitting here doing nothing. Yeah, and there's no charcoal to make. So one on, one off. What the number of logs are running out two on one off the number of logs leave us with nothing to do so there's not an, a simple balance going on there we can go back to that of where are we right now January so turn you off you on off on off on off yeah we're gonna double up here somewhere if we want both March and August Let's do an on and a couple of offs. Yeah, we'll make that work. That'll give us a time to do some major catching up to make up for the times when we're lagging behind. Maybe? We'll give that a try. How are you doing up here? Probably the same. No, we're actually out of firewood. Interesting. So we are not keeping up. What's happening here? Yeah, we're trying to fill that in. We're not keeping up. Okay. Well, maybe in that case, we're just on, off, on, off, on, off. And it's not enough. Hmm. Fire you up to get you going again. And we don't have room in here for firewood. Maybe we do need chicken coop. Maybe we do need another warehouse somewhere to deal with firewood until this building is gone. Where that is, I don't know. It, does, it isn't necessarily something that's going to stay, unless it becomes brick storage afterward. That might be a thing. Um, you don't fit there, do you? You actually kind of do. Place is occupied by just the little nose of the entrance there. So I could rotate you with R... Yeah, move you in till you touch right there. And you could be firewood storage for these guys until he's done, and then your brick storage after that. Okay, I like that. Move you more into here. You are a village house being worked on. You're right over there. All the supplies are in place, so let's leave you. Um, we're January. But there was a ding ding. Okay, you and Blackley, right? 14 more days. Um, <clears throat> I don't think we did much with you last time. Sunflower oil. We could do that. We could. Yep. Let's do 1,000. Oh, you'll do 591. Okay. Deal. And you're right there. Sunflower oil. 591. And temporary that. And is that it? We could buy more sallow. There's still some sitting here. It's hardly been used at all. Um, and I'm probably messing with that by... Although I did put it back in. Somewhere. Right there. So we do have it in stock here. Okay, so let's do another, yeah, let's do some more silo, just, just to have more on stock. So, demands, oh, that's demands, never mind. So, we have no silo to sell, no. Clothes, leathers, no, nothing like that. And nothing we want to buy from them. Okay, you're done. And, looks like 
I'm kind of done too. So I'll probably do this between episodes. I'll reset the fields. Now that we have a farm manager in place, you are emptying. Once all that is gone, whether it goes here, are you putting, you're not putting buckwheat in there. So you're probably heading up to a market somewhere, but we're not really dealing with you anyway. Are we putting potato in here? We are. Okay. Yeah, may as well. It's, it's short and easy rather than sending them off to a granary or something. Just get it done. Okay, so next time we will continue this, get into the next harvest, and hopefully see these markets all balanced out, working well again, and yep, stuff like that. Thanks for watching, folks. Catch you later. Bye-bye.